We need a Bellevue Street and Prince Street, and we want the 552 bus to come up to the Bellevue Street loop. It's four years now since the bus was taken away and we still don't have any. We don't know the reason why. Do you know, Peter? Who... What can I say? I missed yeah. the bus because I can't walk up to bus stop or to Bennett Hills Road. It's too far. Yeah. It's too, too far, far for us. Okay. It's really too far for us. Too far. Another most time, of the, most too far now. Of this street are old people and they don't drive and the uh, distance from the other end of the, of the street up to Beth Penelope's okay. is too far. And I said, I'll just pull the muscle. I must get my arms We used to be able to catch the bus here, but now we have to walk up to Pennant Hills Road and there are no footpaths. And it's very tragic to see women with little children and babies in strollers walking along this busy road. And we're all over 80. Yes, that's why I said have your shopping bags because, you know, we're not out on a trip. We're, we're walking home from, the, um, from getting off the bus. And I tell you, it's a hike. Can you walk back? Yeah. Okay. You go back. See you, Helen. Uh, um, <laughs> we'll be the, the first ones. Good if we could get it back now. Oh, Phil, it'd be wonderful. Yes. Oh. You know, especially when you go down, get your messages and just yeah. hop on the bus. Bye. Come home. Yeah. I'm Leonie Clark and I've been working with local people for several years trying to improve the situation in bus transport and access to bus transport. Behind me is the, the bus shelter uh, that will take us, the bus route will take us between Parramatta and Epping. The local people here use that bus to to go to Parramatta to do all their business, medical business and shopping and so forth. Uh, over the years we've had improvements made to this, these two bus stops. We've been given a bus shelter and uh, J signs to, to make clear to the bus drivers where the signs were. And we've also had, of course, back been active in trying to get improvements to our footpaths and of late we've had some wonderful improvements to footpaths. This particular one goes a long way, about a kilometre, and it runs from here, as you can see, all the way through to Pennant Hills Road, and that's a vast improvement for us. There was no footpath here at all. Having this footpath has made a big difference to me because of course, wet weather, of course, you can imagine, it's very unpleasant. I have now have good dry access to the bus stop and not only that, of course, I don't have to walk on the road, which is always a bit unnerve-wracking because they come around this corner behind me very fast. It's a very fast road. This is a, it's a long way to Pennant Hills Road and it's a very steep road further up. But at least now with a footpath, it's more accessible than it ever was before. In, in times past, I was mainly on the, on the road and it's really very dangerous. Yes. It's a pity Barbara couldn't be here with us today after working so hard for yes. this. She, was, she really felt strongly about people needing their bus and it was only when she saw the, the place itself, when she came to look to see about putting, get, trying to get this bus back, and she saw the poor condition the footpath was in, how you couldn't get access easily to the, to the new change. To walk on the road. Yeah. You did have to walk on the road in the wet weather. Yes. And mothers with strollers had to push on, on the road. 
Yeah, yeah. So then they, they, here it is, sort of, you know, we're well on the way to getting mm. change made, yeah. but she unfortunately is not here, not to, here see, to, see to, see to see her work. Yeah. That's right. Okay. No, she did a lot for us. Yeah, she certainly did. Mm. She felt very strongly about social justice. She did. And she was very concerned about our need to have good transport, yes. good access to yeah. transport. And she had to walk a long way too, didn't she, to get the buses? Yes, yeah. yeah, she did. Yes, yeah, she did. Very so she, hard for her. Yeah, she knew exactly what the struggle yeah. was like. So and then this lovely new footpath should be called oh, the Barbara Brown yeah. foot, foot, foot yeah. footpath. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for her. She started doing that job. She was very good. There's no bus shelter and there's no crossing for us. We're very worried because it's a very busy road and it's very hard to cross. Here we are four years later and we still don't have a bus shelter and we still don't have a crossing. We don't have a pedestrian crossing and it's, and it's still difficult to get across the road when you're coming back. That's right. Yes. That is I like to have the bus back because I've got so near. It's very dangerous across the Pendle Hill Road. Yeah. It's very dangerous with the bags. You cannot carry the bags shopping. I right. not have no family to come and pick me up and no. make me my shopping. That's I right. must go myself all the time. Not anymore. Not anymore. The lady was hit in the, in the cross of Pendle yes. Road. Yeah, the lady, Mrs. Um, yeah. McDonald. Yes. yes. She yes. got killed. You can't tell me it wasn't a, a, a paying proposition because I said we used to sit out the front and have our morning tea and our lunch and yeah. Alan used to say, look at the people on the bus, eh? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so. but, um, well, we'll still keep fighting. We'll st yes. we really indeed. won't let yeah. up. No. <laughs> Even if we don't benefit from, from it, really from it. <laughs> somebody else can benefit from it. Mm. Yes, that's for sure.